Ladies and gentlemen, pupils of Coatnex High School, colleagues and any visitors, welcome to this evening's virtual senior phase prize giving. 2021 has been another exceptional year in terms of disruption to normal school life, but that's not going to stop us celebrating as usual the wonderful successes and collective achievements of our pupils, acknowledge those who support and make these achievements possible, and reflect on what makes Coatnex a unique community in which to learn. I'm honoured to be a part of the prize giving ceremony tonight and I'm grateful for this opportunity for us to join, albeit virtually, as a school community and congratulate all our high achievers. They have endeavoured to do their best in extraordinary circumstances and I fully believe that their efforts represent the true spirit of our school and its new motto, Believe to Achieve. The prize winners are a true reflection of the shared values we hold in Coatness and our hard-working young people are a credit to the school and indeed an inspiration to us all. It is through their achievements that we are clearly able to see the skill, high expectations and commitment of the staff and pupils of Coatness and our prize winners are perfect examples of what we hope for from all our pupils. Before I hand over to the head teacher, Mr McGilp, I'd like to take the chance to say to our prize winners that tonight is a chance to enjoy the fruits of your hard work. Forget for a moment all the changes to your routines that were imposed earlier on in the year, learning from your own homes, submitting work online, coping with assessment demands. Be especially proud of your achievements this year, another exceptional year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Mr McGilp to say a few words. I'd like to welcome you here to the Coltness High School Virtual Senior Prize Giving. When I started teaching in the 90s, I could never have imagined I would be involved in such a venture. And even last year, when we did our first one, I don't think many could believe we would be back here this year again. I'd like to pay tribute to everyone within the school community for helping me keep everyone safe over the past 18 months and for their hard work and dedication in what can only be described as exceptional times. The staff went the extra mile last year to ensure that the alternative assessment model was fair and equitable for every young person and made sure that everyone achieved a grade that was representative of their endeavours and ability level in very testing and strange times. The resilience shown by our young people was and continues to be remarkable. Would a 16-year-old John McGilp have coped in 2021? not as well as the, the, the young people within our school. There is a phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I really hope that our young people realise how well they've done, not only in coping in the current times, but excelling too. And that that ability to succeed in difficult times can be carried forward with them when they meet any future obstacles. I am exceptionally lucky walking into work each day as the head teacher of this excellent school and having such remarkable staff and young people to work with makes me truly proud. This academic year, I enrolled somewhere in the region of around 15 new young people, and the only thing I know in each of them that I said was that in every one of those cases, that the pupils of this school will accept them into their midst without an eyebrow raised. The openness and caring nature of the pupils of the school to accept each and every new pupil is one of the strongest positives of the Coltness community. That ethos needs leaders for people to follow, and this year, in Chloe and Mia, we have been blessed with two remarkable individuals who, as school captains, have been exceptional, exceptional role models to everyone in the school. They carried out their duties fantastically, never complained, and always with a smile on their faces. I will miss them both, and wish them well, and we will hopefully see them inducted into the Hall of Fame in years to come. Talking of the Hall of Fame, we have this year inducted another two current pupils into this, only the fourth set of pupil, existing pupils to achieve such an honour. But with international honours forthcoming to Ailey Austin and Lennon Miller, it was only fitting that we bestowed this upon them. As I sign off from this welcome tonight, I would ask each and every one of you watching tonight to make that your goal, to always do your best and to excel in your field 
and to make it into the Hall of Fame and to help us inspire and motivate the next generation of young people within our learning community. With these words, I wish you health and happiness in the coming academic year. Enjoy your evening and good night. We now have a wonderful musical interlude for your enjoyment. Ayla McGowan of S4 is going to play a piano solo, Prelude in C by Johann Sebastian Bach. Mr. David Ramage as our school parson, and once again, he has a message for our school community tonight. Hi there, can I add a huge well done to all the prize winners today? The reason I'm dressed like this, and I borrowed this from Miss Ramage, is to talk to you about the weight of life. Now, the weight of life are those responsibilities that we feel and what we pick up in our life as we go forward. I want you to think about this bar in front of me that I've borrowed from our friends at Ferry Fit just to explain this illustration. I want you to think this bar as life itself. And life at the moment might be brilliant, it might be great, and what you're carrying, the responsibilities that you have, means that, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. As you go forward in life, you are going to pick up more weight, I can guarantee that. Whether that weight comes from relationships, you may find a spouse, and even though it's brilliant, that will bring its responsibilities with you, eh, with it. It may be that you'll have a mortgage, you'll have a car, you'll have a variety of things, you may even have kids, and I'll tell you what, that weight and responsibility is something that you will definitely feel. So, that's only a fraction of stuff that you could be picking up and feel the weight of. So how are we to deal with this? How are we to stop ourselves breaking under the weight of whatever we carry. There's two things I want to say to you. Firstly, learn to say no. No, not every opportunity that comes your way you have to take up. And also say no to some people's expectations who want to load you up with stuff that really you're not fit to carry. And secondly, don't focus so much about what you are going to carry. Focus more about your character what's on the inside, because you know what? It's your character that will carry the weight all the rest of your life. So, thanks for listening. Hope that's encouraging to you. And uh, yeah, take care. God bless. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the moment we've all been waiting for, our prize winners tonight. We'll start with individual subject and faculty prizes before moving on to our wider achievement and special awards. You will see our S4 students being awarded at National 4 and National 5 level, and our S5 and S6 students awarded at National 5, higher, and where appropriate, advanced higher level as well. Ex Labore Lux Awards have also been awarded by faculties. As the original school motto suggests, enlightenment and success comes from hard work, and our prize winners in this category truly reflect this sentiment and have shown commitment to the subjects and will be recognised for their achievements and commitments in that subject. Take away every ounce of pain So hold my hand if you feel scared I'll build a house where you feel safe And if you call my name then I'll be there to the start close my eyes and live those days again oh i would walk a thousand miles to hear you laugh and see you smile i wish that things would never have to change gentlemen to our wider achievement and special awards. These awards exist to pay tribute to the excellent work that takes place both within and out with the classroom and underlines Coltness High School's dedication in recognising the diverse approaches to success. The Maths Department has nominated Ramzan Ashraf for the Graham Construction Trophy. This is in recognition of an outstanding achievement. Ramzan arrived with English as an additional language. The language barrier was a hindrance to his initial progress. Ramzan dedicated himself to his work and through his endeavour and perseverance achieved a National 4 award in S4, a National 5 award in S5, and an outstanding B pass in higher maths in S6. Ramzan has excelled academically through his own hard work and has demonstrated himself to be an excellent role model. From the Maths Department and all his teachers, a wholehearted well done for this outstanding achievement. We now come to our musical prizes. As ever, there was fierce competition for our musical prizes this year from a range of talented musicians specialising in vocals, orchestral instruments and electronics from rock and pop. Full rehearsals for our bands and ensembles are still on hold for the moment, but we look forward to a return to normal circumstances for our musicians very soon. The Roy Sneddon Memorial Shield is our overall instrumental prize. The winner of the Roy Sneddon Memorial Shield this year is Chloe Rines. Chloe was an outstanding servant to the music department prior to her leaving school in June of this year. The addition that then first year Chloe gave to the school's production of Little Shop of Horrors is still spoken about favourably, and since that first role, Chloe has gone on to feature as a vocal soloist in numerous shows, concert performances, and the music department's tour to Paris in 2019. Last year, during the COVID pandemic, Chloe stepped up to perform in and produce the department's first ever virtual concert. 
We thank Chloe for her outstanding dedication and commitment and wish her all the best for her future. The Graham Moffat Memorial Shield goes to an outstanding musician. The winner this year is Ben Wilson. Throughout S3 and S4, Ben practised and practised on his guitar both in class and at home. He learned all the National 5 guitar repertoire to absolute perfection, giving completely accurate performances for his National 5 assessments. Mr Johnson tells me that he often had to remind Ben that the music period was over, giving the bad news that he had to stop playing his guitar and go to his next class. Ben is now undertaking higher music and is already demonstrating the same level of commitment and dedication to learning the required higher guitar exam repertoire. The Helen Stewart Award exists for a person who is committed to the success of the school band. Another long-term servant to the music department, Alex Miller, is a very deserving winner of the prize for the second year running. From its reformation in Alex's third year at Coatness, Alex was fully supportive of and committed to the band. This saw her take part in numerous concerts, Christmas carolling engagements and more recently the Tour of Paris and the school band's success in the Scottish Concert Band Festival. Although the school band were unable to perform last year due to restrictions, Alex was more than willing to get involved in the department's virtual Christmas concert and played an important part in this concert. We thank Alex for her commitment and services to the band and wish her all the best for her future. We now come to our special sports award as nominated by the staff of the PE department. The Kevin Muir Award is presented to a pupil who achieves sporting excellence in their chosen field. The winner this year has been recognised as an outstanding performer throughout her time in the senior phase. The winner this year is Ailey Austin. Ailey has been a top leader in the CSLA programme, working with younger pupils in her associated primaries, as well as being an inspirational figure to her peers. Ailey has been commended for her commitment and reliability and is a worthy winner tonight. The Ian Browning Excellence in PE Award goes to David Torrock for the second year running. David has once again been recognised as a great ambassador for PE in his work and achievements both in and outside of the school. This includes being part of the championship winning under-18s basketball team and a committed sports leader. He is a worthy winner and the PE department are proud of his continued achievements tonight. The Jean Reed Service to the School Award was created for pupils who go out with the normal expected realms to support the school for the benefit of the pupils within. The award this year goes to Gemma Armstrong. Gemma was present at basically every event that goes on at the school. Appearance nights, information evenings, concerts, whenever visitors were allowed to come to the school, Gemma was the smiling face of Coltness that greeted you as you came through the door. After that, she was the one showing you around the building or answering questions getting you tea or coffee, or even providing the information the staff themselves couldn't give. Gemma was a great ambassador in supporting mental health and was a great support to her peers and the younger pupils of the school. As Gemma leaves us, it really is time for her efforts in the school to be rewarded. In recognition of Gemma's tireless commitment to the Coatness High School community, we would like to award her the Jane Reid Award. The PTA award goes to someone who has overcome adversity during their school career. We have two winners this year, both exceptional characters who have faced significant barriers to their education. The first is Mustafa Ali. Mrs McQuaid from Support for Learning tells us, Mustafa is an inspirational young man who is loved by the whole school community. Despite having many barriers to his learning due to his physical health, he has achieved so much. He is a determined young man who, despite his challenges, is always smiling, always joking, and always great fun to be around. He's respected by all staff and peers and admired for the independent young man he is. He will leave a huge gap in Coltness High School, and we will miss him so much. The second is Ryan Bridges. Again, Mrs McQuaid tells us, Ryan has adapted extremely well to high school life. He is a mature, independent, 
interesting young man who's achieved a fabulous bank of SQE qualifications. He's attending college once a week and is more than equipped and ready to take on the next set of transitional challenges. He's become very much a part of our department, attending SFL during interval and lunchtime every day, and it won't feel right not to have him here next year. A big congratulations to both boys. We are honoured this year to pay tribute to 11 outstanding pupils who achieved the wonderful result of 78 passes at National 5 in the SQE assessment diet this year. As a school, we are delighted for their success and it is only right that we make mention of them tonight. As a group, the students have received fantastic plaudits from their teachers, describing them as ambitious, great communicators, able to strive for excellence, hardworking, polite, unassuming and extremely talented. Each teacher paid tribute to their hard work and commitment to homework and attitude towards study both in and when out the class earlier this year. I can confidently agree with my colleagues that if they maintain this attitude they will be very successful in their future endeavours. They are talented individuals and a credit to the school and their families. Our 11 7A achievers are Dylan Brown, Ben Brownlee, Ewan Davy, Kyle Duguid, Rachel Gemmel, Kirsty Hughes, Dylan King, Emma McNichol, Ryan Nugent, Keila Rasmussen, and Sophie Watson. A big congratulations to all these pupils. We are further honoured this year to pay tribute to four outstanding pupils who achieved the wonderful result of 5A passes at higher in their SQA qualifications this year. As a school, we are delighted for their success and it is only right that we make mention of them tonight as well. As a group, the students have received fantastic plaudits from their teachers, describing them as committed beyond the norm, dedicated, being able to work towards tight deadlines, model citizens and some of the nicest young people they have taught in Colton S. Our 5A achievers are Zach Campbell, Alison Fubister, Gavin Johnson and Jaslyn Coe. Congratulations. This year, the Junior Ducks Prize is shared by Ewan Davy and Kyle Duguid. The boys' teachers have been plaudits upon them, describing them as diligent, displaying natural abilities, team players and generous class members. Ewan is a well-known footballer in the school and he balances his academic work alongside his sporting achievements. He says that he has learned good discipline and focus through his sporting work and this pays dividends when he applies the same principles to his academic studies. Kyle is a quiet and hard-working pupil with confidence in his abilities. Also a keen sportsman, Kyle was able to apply determination and consistency to achieving his academic goals. Two gentlemanly pupils, we wish you and well in his pursuit of a career in the sciences and we wish Kyle every success in his pursuit in a career in sports science. And so to our penultimate prize tonight, our Proximity Akesa Award. Tonight's award is won by Jasleen Kaur. Jasleen worked tirelessly against odds this year to achieve an outstanding 5A passes in her higher assessments. This is now added to her wonderful achievement of 7A passes last year at National 5. Fixing resolutely on her studies, comments on this achievement from Jasleen's teachers underline what we already know about this dedicated pupil. She's been a pleasure to teach. She's extremely hardworking with a super work ethic. She's driven to succeed. She worked tirelessly and was willing to go the extra mile to ensure her understanding. She was supportive of her peers and was willing to help others. She was modest about her achievements. Although Jasleen has since moved on from Copeness, we recognise what an outstanding ambassador she was of the ethos we wish to promote as a school. She is a credit to her proud teachers and parents. We wish Jasleen success in all her future endeavours. And so to our final prize, our School Ducks Award for 2021. Our winner tonight 
is Zach Campbell. Zach has been an outstanding student. He has continued to build on his academic success of last year where he achieved seven A's at National 5 with an outstanding haul of five higher E passes in Maths, English, Chemistry, Physics and Geography. Zach's teachers describe a totally committed student with a conscientious work ethic. It is well known that his work is always immaculate in terms of both content and presentation. Zach pays tribute to his parents, who have always encouraged him to do his best and were a great support to him, helping him keep focused on his SQA assessments in the lockdown period after Christmas. Zach's interests and knowledge cover a wide range of subjects and he's open-minded about which career path he will choose. I am truly confident and I know that my colleagues share the same sentiments that Zach will excel in his chosen career path and will go on to great things, whatever this may be. Ladies and gentlemen, a rapturous virtual round of applause for the Coltness High School Ducks of 2021, Zach Campbell. Looking out for a better day When it seems like there's no escape Take me to my happy place Hi, my name's Katie and I'm Ellie and we are Vice Captains this year and we'd like to say a few words of thanks. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Mr Farr for the opening preview and presenting the special prizes. Also, thank you to Mr McGill for his warm welcome. We'd also like to thank the Music Department and Isla McGowan for their lovely musical items and to Pastor Ramage for his wise words in this difficult time. Thanks also to the office for all your great work to make this occasion special. And finally to Ian and Jim, thank you for coming back and filming. Just overall, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our virtual ceremony is now over. On behalf of all members of the Coltness High School community, we wish you and your families health and happiness over this coming school year. If I could wish upon a star, I'd wish that I could heal the scars and take away every ounce of pain. So hold my hand if you feel scared I'll build a house where you feel safe And if you call my name then I'll be there